What's up guys, it's your girl Serpentine 10 and today I'm going to be talking about more Mortal Kombat 1 content stuff and which characters I believe should probably make a return in this new game. So right here I have everybody that I believe have been playable characters in Mortal Kombat in the past and I have my tier list up here of who I think should return and who maybe should not and people who just should not make the cut at all. So. I'm gonna start off with Ashra. Now there are a lot of characters in MK that I just do not remember because I guess they didn't make a real big impact on me. So I probably don't remember their names at all, but I definitely remember their faces. So y'all in the comments gotta re like remind me who they are because I don't remember their names right now off the you know bat. But I do remember Ashra. So I know Ashra was like a demon and I remember she had that crazy um, fatality with the voodoo doll. I thought that one was really cool, but I don't know how much of an impact um, she really made on the universe 100%, but uh, I thought she was a cool looking character. She kind of reminded me of a female Raiden and I'm not even like mad at her design. I did like her design, um, but I'm not sure if she will return. Um, I'm going to put her right there because I don't want to put no because her overall look and everything really was captivating to me and I have used her in the past and she had a really interesting move set so I just put her in the not sure category for right now next is Baraka so I have a huge inkling that yes Baraka will be here Baraka is a classic character I feel like he's been in a lot of different MKs it would be kind of weird that he wasn't there at this point he's a classic character in anybody's mind so i'm gonna assume that baraka will return and that he should return uh so that's my thoughts on him this is blaze i want to go ahead and say no first of all i don't like blaze <laughs> i thought the boss fight with him was ridiculous um, I believe he was in Armageddon. Yeah, I believe that that was the boss fight in Armageddon. You can also see Blaze in the background of the pit. He's like fighting Dagon, I think. He might be fighting Dagon on that bridge in the pit. That's the dude on fire is Blaze. But I do not think that he should return. He was a boss character. And I don't think he got no relevancy to be coming back. Next is Bo Raicho. So, I'm going to put him in maybe. Bo Raicho did, you know teach Liu Kang and um, Kung Lao some stuff they know each other really well I was not really looking forward to him when he returned in I believe X I, I mean I didn't ask for him but it was a lot of people that was on their roster that I didn't ask for and they just showed up and Boracho was one of them I don't know how beloved Boracho is to the MK community or anything I don't know if people like him I don't know how many people made him but he does have a part in the story so I'm not against him coming back I guess I'll just put maybe for Boracho here's Cassie Cage and I don't really know since we're kind of going back in time well I don't even know we're going back in time I know that they said that fire god Liu Kang created a world where people can live in so he created this world in his own image and I guess it's kind of going back to some roots in some way shape or form so it's really hard to dictate and know if people like Cassie will even show up I know that they mentioned Johnny Cage will be in this game so is this before he had children if so then Cassie wouldn't be here but I feel like Netherrealm really do like this character and I'm gonna put her in sure because I feel like this is a character that they just like um, I feel like she's gonna constantly keep coming back and even though she wasn't really for me I do think that they're gonna just like shoehorn her in here in some kind of way even if they have clips from the past or future or whatever I feel like Cassie is gonna be here some kind of way shape and form I mean hell they made her be Shinnok <laughs> at one point which was ridiculous so they really really are putting some stock into this character so I'm gonna say sure Cassie can come back here is Chameleon. Um, out of all the ninjas, I think I've played Chameleon probably the less out of all of them. I remember that this was like some cheat code you can put in to play Chameleon. I don't really know. Um, I'm going to say not sure. Chameleon is cool. Um, especially the female version looks really, really cool. And it's funny because the female version is also here <laughs> with the male version. So I'm putting them both in not sure. But uh, I'm not against it. 
I'm just not sure if it, if it will happen or not. So here's Cyrax. Um, I'm going to say sure to Cyrax. I think when it comes to the robots, Sector and Cyrax, they should probably be here in some capacity. Here is Sector. I'm going to put him up there. I don't know where Cyber Sub-Zero is on here. Um, I'm not even against him being in this game. Um, I feel like when they have these versions of them, I'm fine with them coming back um sector and cyrax you know if anybody knows you know the uh, ketchup and mustard <laughs> of you know mortal kombat i feel like they're classic characters as well i don't know if they'll be shoehorned in to mortal kombat 1 but i'm okay with them being here in any capacity we can get them <laughs> here is devora i believe devora died um in the other mortal kombat i believe she got killed so I don't even know if she would return. She was an interesting design. Don't get me wrong. They're so used to like trying to make these female characters so pretty and everything like that. And then you got this bug lady that's kind of disgusting. But she had really interesting moves in X. I feel like I didn't like her as much in 11. But I did like her design. She looked creepy. She was disgusting. And I was all for that. So I'm going to put maybe for her but i don't know if they'll bring somebody like this back or they'll have a different variation of her uh to come back uh maybe a male version of her i guess that's a possibility as well too so this is dagon i believe yeah because i remember it was taven and dagon yes yeah, so i'm gonna say no to him because i okay i believe that these guys i can't remember i always get um the story of armageddon and deception mixed up because i know one was focused on shujinko and the other one was focused on taven and dagon but it's been so long and since i played both of those games that i just do not remember who was on what but neither one of those games story was very compelling to me and i believe that i did not like the one that was following taven and dagon because i feel like they were trying to force the narrative of those stories on me and but i didn't care <laughs> um so i'm gonna just put them in no because personally to me they did not make an impact on me at all they were boring and i didn't want to play as them and i just wanted them like i just wanted the story to be over with to be honest <laughs> um oh i believe this is daru i believe his name is daru he's like the dude that has like the marking on his head um i'm gonna say maybe no a lot of these characters that come from like Deception and Armageddon, I know Armageddon had everybody, but a lot of these uh, characters like this, they might not make a return because I just feel like they were just kind of created for this story alone and you might not ever see them again. Or you might. It's, it's hard to really gauge right now or to know. And it's the same thing with Darius. Um, I'm just not sure with these kind of characters. Um... They're characters that just went under the radar to me. So, it's very possible they could return. I'm not against them coming back because it's not a lot to say about them. Um, they would definitely have to change up their movesets and just how they kind of like work to make them more interesting. Because I'm just saying no to them because I just didn't like them at all. And I just didn't really play with them. Just maybe to get through arcade, I played with everybody, and then it's probably the last time I kind of seen them, and that's why they're kind of on nose to me. So this is, oh my god, he's the guy with the bees, or the no, he has the flies. <laughs> oh my god! At first I was gonna call him Meat, but that's not his name. Oh my god! I used to play with him all the time, but I can't remember his name. It's been so long. He has the flies and he's super disgusting but you know what i like him and i'm gonna put him on sure i can't remember his name i feel so bad that i don't remember these people's i haven't seen him in forever um but i don't remember his name i'm sure that his name will like pop up in my mind later but i can't think of it right now but i used to play him all the time he has the flies um, but I'm putting him in sure because I do like his overall character design. I like that he's disgusting. He has the flies. They were annoying. And I remember he had this like hit. He has like this iron cast on his hand. And he would like hit you with this like roundhouse move with his hand. And it was like super cheap. And I remember I used to do that all the time. So <laughs> that's why I want this guy back. So here's Ermac. And I'm all for Ermac coming back. 
Um, I think that these types of ninjas need to make a return. Um, well, you know what? I'll put him up here. Um, cause that's, I feel like the classic ninjas need to return in some kind of way, shape and fashion. And I'm okay with them all being on the roster, to be honest, D you know, let them come back. And another thing that I want to say is that I don't want to differentiate this from the cameo fighters. Cause I know the cameo fighters seem like they won't be playable. At least that's what I'm getting when, when I read the F. AQs on the Mortal Kombat 1 site, it kind of seems like they won't be playable characters, they're just assists. But I'm not adding that factor in right now. Um, maybe I will make a tier list split up about assist characters if that's what y'all want. But if y'all interested in that, y'all let me know. Um, but I don't want to do that right now. I just want to talk about who should be on the main roster for MK1 that I think should come back for right now. So here's Aaron Black. I love Aaron Black. I want him back. I think that his redesign in 11 was perfection. He reminds me so much of Arthur Morgan from Red Dead Redemption. That's probably why I like him so much. Because <laughs> that game is great. And Aaron Black is great. He's a really weird mesh of like a cowboy and a ninja sort of thing. Living in Earth Realm or wherever he's at. Is he in Earth Realm or Outworld? He in one of those. But he's like the outlaw. He's really cool. And I want him to return. Man, oh man, Ferritor. I have to admit, when Ferritor came out, I thought that this character looked so cool in Mortal Kombat X. I think it was an interesting concept, but I just don't feel like they'll ever do this again. Um, I'll put it in the maybe because I think it's an interesting concept um, that I don't think that they're going to do again. They could come back. I know that Ferritor has like a really weird um, story where, you know, they have a big dude and then whoever's on the back uh, they kind of control the big dude but later the kid on the back will eventually become a you know a brute like this and somebody will be on their back at one point in time too i believe that that's how that kind of goes but i think it's an interesting concept and it might return it just might so here we have frost i kind of feel like the female sub-zero thing will come back and i'm not even against it um I'm gonna say yeah sure shorter frost I feel like her being you know part of the Lin Kuei with Sub-Zero then going against him turning into the full-blown cyborg and now you know being evil or whatever I feel like that might be a concept or a force or an enemy that might be you know plaguing the new world of Liu Kang I don't know how she will fit in though because I'm not really sure of how they're like doing the timeline in one um Cause all these people are like they're not from like the past or anything like they really making this seem like this is like way before a lot of these characters showed up but we can't tell right now right now i'm just gonna talk about people that i want to come back but i don't really know the timeline 100 so um oh my god there's fujin yes um i feel like if we going back we can show fujin right he is raiden's brother i don't think that it's a bad idea of showing him right now in Mortal Kombat 1, I feel like seeing him in 11 was a blessing. I used to play Fujin all the time in 4, and then when he showed up in 11, I played him, and he was really, really cool. So I really want to see Fujin again in his entirety. So here's Garrus. I really like Garrus. I think that he's a very handsome character, and he was really interesting. But I believe he died. He, like, got dragged underneath the water or something, <laughs> which was really messed up. Um... But he was such an interesting character. Um, he's made out of sand and everything. So, and he can like reverse time. So when we talk about things that are based in time and we have Garrus here, it's very likely he could just come back because he's all about time, reversing time. I mean, hell, he reversed the clock in the middle of the match. <laughs> he has a move where he can just reverse it and like add more time to the clock or delete more time from the clock which is crazy so i can definitely see him coming back he's all about time so it's very possible garris could return and he's not dead at all you know maybe he just fizzled out into like grains of sand and we think he did but he's just at the bottom of like the ocean floor right now <laughs> man goro it's very possible we'll see goro or we could see kentaro i mean shang song hinted at that with one of his fatalities but yeah, uh, sure. I'm okay with Goro coming back. I mean, with the possibility of it being MK1, it's very possible we could see 
original characters before their death. So it's very possible Goro could be here. Um, oh man, Havoc. Ooh. Havoc is cool. Maybe. Maybe some Havoc. I used to love that he would twist his head around and like break his neck. And it was. He has this weird thing where he's like cracking his neck and ripping his arms off and stuff. I would love to see that in real time now <laughs> with the new graphics. Someone like him that's like disgusting. Guys like these guys right here and like Devora, seeing them in the engine that we have now, they will probably have some disgusting stuff that they would do. And I kind of want to see it. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I really do want to see that. So maybe to some havoc. So this is Hotaru. Oh my god, y'all quote me in the comments in, in the comments down below if I'm right. Is this Hotaru? I believe it is. He has the flags on his back. He's really interesting. I want to say I'm not sure. I know that he was from the Order realm. Um, all about order. Um, but I don't know if he's going to come back. I'm not sure. Oh man. Um, I used to play him all the time. But his his name is escaping me. He has a laser. Um... He's part of the Black Dragon, I believe, with Movado. It's so funny. I can't I can't remember his name at all. Um, but I believe he's dead. Because if you play as Aaron Black, Aaron Black in his intro literally has his head in a bag. <laughs> and it just rolls out. So it's very possible we might not see him. But if we're going back in time, he might be there. Um... But I'm going to just say no. I know there's a lot of like jokes around this character that he's like the worst character ever made and everything. And it's possible that he is. But I just I know there's probably other people that are just like way worse than him that they just kind of showed up. But kind of like, you know, it's a, I don't know if he's like the worst person, but I want to say no because I believe he's dead. So here's Jackie. It's very possible that Jackie will show up. I'm gonna put her here because just like Cam Cassie. Yeah, Cassie. <laughs> I was finna call her something else. Just like Cassie, you know, she's um Jax's daughter. So if you're going back, it's very hard to know if she'll be here or not. But I'm perfectly fine with her showing up. I think that she was a cool character. I wanna say yes, yes, yes to Jade. Any of these classic characters, it's a yes. Um, they should be here and I believe that they will, so Jade should happen. I feel real bad for her because Kodokan died, so. <laughs> and I know that that was her, like, uh, boyfriend or whatever, so they don't even have that anymore, which is kind of sucks. I'm trying to think about who this is. I feel like I've seen him before. I don't remember if he's a dude that's supposed to be, like, the fake. Is he the guy that's supposed to be, like, the ripoff uh, Kano? Um, I think that he is. It was, like, a dude that was very similar to Kano. Um, I believe he did like a ball and everything just like him too. This might be him, but I'm going to say no to him. Um, because if that is the guy, he was not interesting. So Jax, Jax is a yes. Jax should definitely be here. No questions asked. He is a classic character. He should definitely be here. Uh, Johnny Cage, we already know Johnny will be here. They talked about the John claude Van Damme skin that he will have, which is crazy. Um, I want to give a shout out to the homie Pablo. Uh, me and him was talking. He always supports my Dark Souls videos. Thank you so much. I hope that you've been looking at the Bloodborne videos. <laughs> but he was telling me about, uh, man, you know, he might be based off Frank Dukes in a blood sport. That's very, very possible that Johnny Cage will have a uh, John claude Van Damme, Frank Dukes, blood sport skin. It's very possible because if you really think about it, if you've ever seen that movie, um, he has like the, the tight shorts on. And it's very remnant to, like, original Johnny Cage from, like, MK1. Um, well, is it MK1? Or 2. Whenever that he debuted, he had a similar costume like that. So, it's very possible we might get some Frank Dukes, uh, Johnny Cage. <laughs> so, I'm looking forward to that. Cabal. Yes. I want Cabal back. Cabal is an interesting character. I love this character. Um, he's, like, one of those characters that I think is so cool. But... I can't main him. Like, I would never main him, but I think that he, he looks so cool. His running speed um, moves are so amazing. I like that he's, like, horrendously deformed underneath the mask, and the mask gives him this cool voice. And 
I don't know. The speed of the character is just immaculate. And I love his fatality when he like runs and all the skin comes off your face. So I love Cabal and I want him back. <laughs> um, so here is, I do not remember his name, but I believe that he's supposed to be, I believe he was kind of similar to Liu Kang. Um, but I don't think he's going to come back because, you know, we got fire, uh, God, Liu Kang. So it would be no reason for him to show up because th I think in Deception, or Armageddon or one of those games they kept making these characters that were very similar to characters we already had um I know they kind of did that in four a little bit but I know they kept doing that and I don't know what that was about but a lot of those characters you, you can see that they're down here in my no character category because I don't know I guess they was experimenting with those characters but I don't think a lot of them need to come back in my opinion so here's Kano Kano's a yes like yeah, we still need him, you know, I guess chasing after uh, Sonya Blade if that's what he wants to do. But yes, Kano should return. Oh man, Kenshi? Uh, now, and if you play the crypt in Mortal Kombat 11, it shows you Kenshi's body in the crypt and that he is dead. But, um, I'm gonna disregard that and say that I want Kenshi to come back. Kenshi is so cool. Um, at the same time, I want his son to come back, which is Takeda, which I don't understand why Takeda. Where is Takeda? He's right here. I want Takeda to come back. I can't believe he didn't come back in 11. It's kind of funny because Jackie came back, but he didn't. Like, I just felt like he was so unique and interesting and cool. Like, but he didn't return. So both of them need to come back, in my opinion. Kentaro? Ooh, it's very possible Kentaro to come back. If we gotta get anybody with four arms, if it's not Shiva, we're off the bat. Kentaro. I'm gonna probably put all the people with four arms up here because one of them gotta return, right? One of them do. Like, I don't which, really care which one comes back. Where's Shiva? Right here. I don't really care which one comes back. One of them gotta return. Like, I don't know who it would be, but out of these three which it'll probably be Goro because they just like going back to the classic person or it could be Kentaro we haven't seen Kentaro in a long time so it's very possible they pick somebody with four arms he might be the one but one of them need to you know show up Kira uh no I don't think she needs to show up I don't think Kira needs to show up she was okay um but she's nothing to like rant and rave about to be honest Katana, we already seen her in the trailer, so she we know that she's coming back. Oh my god, this is like the knockoff Ken. What was his name? <laughs> I don't remember his name, but I'm gonna say no to him. He's like the knockoff Ken Masters. He looks like Ken Masters to me, but I'm gonna say no. Um Cobra. That was his name. His name is Cobra. And I don't think he should come back. Man, poor Koro Khan. It's so terrible because I actually like this character. I love his design. He reminds me of Ogre from Tekken. Um, I don't know. Since I like him, I'm going to put him right here. I really do like him. We might find somebody else that's like the same as him, but it might not be him. Because it's very likely that we could get someone else that's like maybe related to Kodo Khan or something. Or from his same kind of like tribe or his same kind of likeliness in this game but they're just from the past so that's very possible and i'm okay with that so kunjin i know kunjin was very very popular he never was really interesting to me but i'm putting not sure right here because he might make a return he didn't show up in 11 and i'm not really sure why but maybe they want to do that thing where they like skip because sometimes more combat games they do that They'll have a character show up in one game, then they won't show up in the next one. And then they'll show up in the next one following. So this might be the chance for us to see Kun Jin again. So we already seen Kun Lao, so we know that he'll be showing up. Uh, Lee Mei? Is that her name? I think her name is Lee Mei. Um, uh, well, I haven't seen this character in a long time. Maybe. You know, we always need those hot girls in these games. Um... <laughs> Lee Mei was like, she showed up in two installments, or maybe three, because she was in Armageddon, and everybody was in Armageddon, but I believe it was two games, then Armageddon, I think so, um, it's possible she might return, it's very possible, I know a lot of people died in, um, 
was it nine i can't remember which one it was but a lot of people died and i think that she did too but if we going back um she might come back she might we already know about Luke kang because he is the fire god man mavado uh and it's funny because this guy right here this is su hao i had to think about it i had to really think about it su hao and mavado i believe they were both uh either black dragon red dragon members i get them confused i know that kano's part of one of them and then these two guys are part of the other and i think that like dagon is part of one of them too but i always get them mixed up uh and i know that they know each other but i don't know if they'll come back i really do like mavado i'm gonna put him up here i like him more than su hao so i'm gonna put him above him because i think he looks cool this is meat and i'm gonna say no to me meat ain't got no reason coming back <laughs> so there would be no reason for him to like return to be honest melina we already know he's coming back we, she's coming back he oh my god i'm not trying to make nobody mad melina is coming back it's kind of funny that they showed her right off the bat i think that that was a way to just um make sure to cure the woes of the mk community that really like melina they were like well we don't know if she's coming back in these games we're worried they just put her in the trailer right away we don't even you know you don't even gotta think about it we know she's gonna be here right off the bat which is crazy but we know that she's gonna be here um no mocap because he's a joke character um oh my god this guy ah oh, what is his name he's a boss and i hate him <sighs> he was in daily alliance i can't think of his name right now but i know he had the ball and chain and he was so cheap um i'm gonna say no to him man um uh, mutaro you know what i really like mutaro i feel like they need to be bringing back some of these dudes like this some of these boss dudes some of these boss guys like this need to come back but this is the thing if Mutaro comes back, he has to have the centaur legs. He can't just be having two pairs of legs like that he had in, uh, I can't remember which one it was. Either it was like Deception or Armageddon. One of those, they like didn't give him the full centaur look. They can't do that. I know they were trying to cut corners because they couldn't like program that in, but they can do that now. So if they put him in this game, I want to see him in his entirety, please. <laughs> That'll be nice. Yes, to Nightwolf. I feel like Nightwolf should be here. He's, you know, a classic character. He should be here. Natara. Um, maybe. You know, she showed up in that terrible movie we had not too long ago. She might. She's a different type of character. You don't really see people like her. And if she's a vampire. I'm very possible she can just show up in any like timeline because you know vampires there are forever i'm sure they're in a lot of timelines noob i'm okay with noob yeah bring noob back noob in mk11 was brilliant he was such a well-designed character he has such cool moves i couldn't use him personally because i think he was just too technical for me but he was a lovely character and i want him back um oh no the dragon king onaga that's his name i want to say no to onaga there's no reason i think that his his story is fizzled out <laughs> i believe that quan chi is dead i want to say i believe that he is but with everything going on and we don't really know what this is going to be placed at i'm okay with quan chi coming back because i always thought quan chi was cool but he really needs to be turned into a badass again like he was in four and because he's just been dying and taking a lot of l's and i want quan chi to be back to how we had him before so i'm gonna say yes to quan chi we already know raiden is gonna be there he was in the trailer rain can come back sure i want all the ninjas to come back they all need to be in one game to be honest um oh what was his name rico Rico. i think that he's like the predecessor of being like a shokan type guy uh it seemed like they were gonna do something with that storyline there like he was gonna take shokan's place i don't know like i, I was kind of interested in it too because it seemed like a very interesting concept um but i just don't know this just didn't get worked all the way out it wasn't fleshed all the way out in my opinion i feel like they should have talked about this more but i don't remember if he died or not but i don't put not sure to him to reiko 
um yes to reptile bring reptile back um oh i man what is her name she's like one of Quan Chi's um henchmen or hench woman or hench women i think she, she died though when sindel was going on her rampage in one of those more combat games she died in the process so it's very sure that she won't be here so i'm just gonna put not sure um i don't know how far back that we're going here um or i'll just put no um because it's very possible she won't be here i'll put i'll do this with Ra raiko too or raiko we know scorpion is gonna be here we know shang song is gonna be here uh oh man are we gonna get another another uh appearance of show khan doing bs Man, it's possible. If we going all the way back, he gotta be here, right? He has to be. He has to be. Is it possible that Shinnok might be here too? It's very likely. <laughs> I mean, we might get all the baddies in this game. I mean, they all around the same point in time, right? Shujinko is very possible he won't be here. Um, Sindel? Uh... I'll say sure. Sure didn't send it. I don't know if she'll be here right away, but sure. Scarlet? Maybe. Not sure. Smoke? Yeah, give me smoke. Ninjas all day. I'm sure Sonya will be here. We might not get Striker. Striker might be a no. We don't need any more uh, guys getting tased. Wild shot. <laughs> Striker's ridiculous uh, fatality he has. Yes to Sub Zero. Okay. Can I say yes to Tanya? Tanya, she needs more love. She's a really, really good character. I want her back. Um, I know we got our typical like ninja chicks. When it comes to the, the, the ninja chicks, yeah, bring them back. I like this ninja chick. Well, I know I had Chameleon here, I'm not sure. I feel like they're the most unlikely to come back, but. Tanya might have a chance. Taven? No, because I don't like him or Dagon. So I'm gonna say no. Wow, Tremor? Sure. I feel like they were trying to turn him into like another type of ninja, but he's not that 100%, but, or is he? I'm not really sure, but sure. I think this is Triborg. I can't tell if this is Triborg or if this is Cyber Sub-Zero, but it doesn't matter which one it is, cause it's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> and both versions of those robots are cool in my opinion so it looks like i'm all wrapped up <laughs> on who on who i think should come back into the game so i think that this is an extensive list i'm sure that i'll probably miss somebody um i try to get all mk characters but it's very un unsure for us to know like what's going to be actually taking place in the game and where the timeline is and it it very may likely dictate where all these characters pretty much stand that i picked but i want to know y'all opinion who do y'all want to come back in mk and also i want to know who y'all want the cameo fighters to be and if y'all really like this video you know get this video to 10 likes it's very possible i may make a tier list of who i think the cameo fighters should be um it's very possible we might not be able to play as the cameo fighter and then they're just assists but them being assists that may open the door for a lot of these characters down here that I put in the no to show up because a lot of these characters could just be cameo fighters while all the people that are just like the classics can be our main roster so y'all let me know with the brilliant 10 likes <laughs> that y'all put on this video and I will make another video talking about the cameo fighters and you know see where we take it from there but I want to also thank everybody for liking the content and looking at all my videos and constantly subscribing. And y'all keep that going and make sure you tell everybody about the channel so we can get to our 400 subscribers. Because I know that we can probably do it before the end of the year. But you guys know what you have to do. Follow me on my Twitter and make sure you guys are checking me out here every week on YouTube. Until next time guys. Peace.